Hello, good morning. Today is Sunday um, and it's nice and sunny. It's supposed to be in the 70s today. Um, actually all week. I think it's supposed to be in the 70s and the 80s a bit. Um, I actually woke up with some back pain this morning. So yesterday on Saturday um, in the morning before I brushed my teeth, I pushed open the uh, bathroom window for Fig because he likes to look outside the bathroom windows, especially while I brush my teeth. Um, and then I hurt my back. But then yesterday it felt better over time. And then last night it hurt, but I think it will start to feel better with time. Actually, there's a bird outside. And I think the boys, if they saw it here, they'd be pretty excited. I wonder if I should go grab them. Cause Stitch is in the living room looking for birds. <laughs> there's a bird out back. Stitch, do you wanna see the bird that's out back? Huh? I don't think there's any out here right now. Nope, we just hear the neighbors. There's a bird in the backyard. Yeah. There's one out here, Stitch. Come on. Come on, Stitch. Come on. You wanna see? Maybe he's not gonna come along. Anywho, so today we had a few things in mind. We were thinking about possibly going to the Natural History Museum or going to see Wonder Woman, but I think we might just um, have a chill day at home today. I am thinking about like tidying up or cleaning out some old stuff. When we moved, I just took like a bunch of my old items, like old skincare and hair care and just shoved them into boxes and I didn't like sort through it and decide what I really need or what's too old and stuff. So anyways, I might just um, sort through that and find stuff to like donate or uh, stuff that just needs to get thrown away. So I was thinking I might do that later today. So I'm still like productive and doing something today. Um, but at home, yeah. So. Hi there, so I'm back. I only went out briefly to get coffee and to peer one to take my lampshade and try to find a nice lamp post. I found that um, the table lamps were a little bit short or it looked funny to have this lampshade on those. Um, and I couldn't find any floor lamps that I really liked. So yeah, I took this with me and I tried it on different lamps and um, couldn't find the perfect lamp post. <laughs> and now I've just been organizing stuff, tidying up. I cleaned out some of my old like hair products and skincare stuff and tossed it. Some stuff that's like kind of old. And um, then I borrowed Andy's label maker. I like how he also likes things pretty organized. Well, mostly organized. And both of us, you know, not everything's perfect, but um, we like things to be like tidy and hidden away and labeled. So I borrowed his label maker and labeled all these drawers. Like one is for hairpins and headbands and stuff. And one is for hair styling products. Um, yeah, so anywho, I like doing that. And now we're waiting for lunch to come. Andy really wanted pizza, so we decided to get Woodstock pizza. And um, he also got me a salad because <laughs> I don't wanna like just eat pizza for lunch and then steak for dinner. I wanna have like some salads and, or vegetables too. Our and pizza just arrived from Woodstock's. The guy told us, have a good night. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got a large pizza with pepperoni and sausage. And then we also got a salad, just a regular salad. This is the, it was called the tree hugger, right? With the spinach, the candied pecans, the feta cheese, dried cranberries, and balsamic vinaigrette dressing. And then we got a ton of ranch as well, because we really like ranch with our pizza. So we are gonna go sit down and have some lunch. So I am out on a walk right now, walking around the new neighborhood. Well, we've been here about four weeks now, so the time has flown by. We just love it. It is so much nicer and quieter than my old neighborhood. The parking's easy. The neighbors are friendlier. Um, yeah, there's still some, you know, car traffic and stuff, but nothing like my old place. It's a really interesting white tree, and we have no idea what it is, but it's white, it's puffy, it's got a heck of a lot of stuff going on over here. There's two little dogs over there playing. One is a boxer, one is a white dog. Looks kind of like a German Shepherd. Really cute playing. And then these neighbors have an orange tree, and I'm tempted to mooch some oranges from them, but I'm not really going to. Oh, their door's open. Let's not do that. Let's not take any oranges. Really pretty too. We like these. These pretty roses. 
I think these are roses, yeah? <laughs> and then this wall of these like purple and pink flowers here. Got all different kinds of shades. We like these. Those are pretty. <laughs> They're really nice, huh? For dinner tonight, we are going to have uh, the steak that I'm going, that's been marinating. I'm gonna cook that on the gas stove top and I'm a little bit nervous. So basically we need to get the cast iron skillet as hot as possible and then even hotter than that. So I think we'll do it on the turbo boil flex setting. My favorite. What honey? It's my favorite setting. Yep, so we'll do the steaks on that and it's gonna be really hot and smoky and stuff. Um, so that's the thing I'm very nervous about. And then the potatoes, I'll just scrub them and then uh, put them in the oven for an hour and that'll be easy. And then I'll have some of that leftover salad from lunch. Nice. Yeah. No, thank you. I need to stab all the potatoes. Whoa. I don't know how much you're supposed to do. Just do a little bit. Whoa. Some salt. Whoa. True that. All right. That's what It's dark. It is. Super dark, so we're gonna take the meat out, and let it rest for about 30 or more minutes, right. and get it dry. Yeah. And then just throw this away. Yeah. Take the cats. You wanna do it? Sure. Big food bowls upstairs. <laughs> what, do we need to Bum, bum, bum. Is it time? Yeah, and if we ruin it, then we have leftover pizza. <laughs> Got it? Good point. You ready? Yep. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I just get nervous about doing this, that's all. Alright. You want me to do it? I don't know. Whew. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, it's just like, it's so hot that you like... Do you need some top, uh... Do you need to wear these? That might be a good idea. Because like as soon as you try to flip it, then your hand starts cooking. Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Oh, did you just flip it? I just flipped it. Okay. We will use large spoons to bathe the steak in hot butter. Yeah. Hold it. You okay? Yeah, I almost dropped it. I mean, what the recipe says. Bathe it in butter, baby. In hot butter, so maybe I was supposed to melt it beforehand, I don't know. It would it would have smoked like this either way. Man, I really feel like this is this is when we should have a grill like that Oh it's easy. More butter on top on this side? I think so. Okay. Let's get nervous. I want to turn it it's down. All right. It's alright. Right. No, let's keep it. If that's what it says, this is mm -hmm. what we're gonna do. It's gonna drop the water. It's going outside. Alright. See it? It's going outside. I'm gonna put a little more butter on, okay? Okay. Then we got big ass windows. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Making you nervous? Yeah. Is it a smoke detector? Is it possible that it's a smoke detector? Yeah. Where is it? It's right there. Okay. Alright, yeah. Well, we set off the smoke detector. For about five minutes, the smoke detector went off. Um, super stressful, so much smoke. We've like burnt the little pot holder thing. That's burnt. I'm testing the temperature on the meat. It's at 120. We're gonna finish it in the oven because that was way too stressful. <laughs> Setting off the smoke alarm. You okay, honey? Yeah, that was just a lot of smoke. Yeah. yeah is is the front door still open? No, I closed it. Okay, we just need to be careful. Okay, the, the door's closed and the cats are okay. Yeah, that was hot as heck. Thanks. So we've got the potatoes pulled out of the oven. We've got the beef, which we finished in the stove because it caused all that big smoke. 
cause a bit of scariness. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna hopefully plate our food soon and grab out the salad and add that on the side too. So our dinner is ready. We've got our steaks, our salad, our baked potatoes. My baked potato, I just kind of cut in half and put butter on so it kind of looks like someone attacked it. Um, and then we've got the dressing, the balsamic vinaigrette dressing that goes with the salad too. So your plate looks prettier, I think. Really? I think it does. Even though it's got a lot of cheese and sour cream going on, yeah. I think it looks better because my potatoes are butchered. <laughs> so, That's all right. right, dinner time. Oh, I just flew away. Oh, no. Oh man, where were, were they at the bird seed that I put down? One was, yeah, they're both on the straight line ones. Uh huh. One at, one at each pile. Oh, the birds were like in the bird seed. They'll be back. Oh, I'm sure. They'll be back. The boys, the boys are ready for them to come back. Yeah. 